Good afternoon, you're watching the headlines with me, I'm Dipavli Hazra. After vying for an All India National Register of Citizens, Home Minister Amit Shah said that there was no talk of such an exercise right now. Shah's assurance comes after widespread agitations against the controversial citizenship law and NRC, which prompted the Prime Minister to dismiss fears of a pan India NRC. Shah also asserted that there was no link between the National Population Register exercise and the NRC. A delegation of All India Muslim Action Committee is expected to meet the Telangana Chief Minister today over CAA, NRC and NPR matters. AIMIM Chief Asaduddin Owesi will also be a part of the delegation. Owesi alleges that the Home Minister is misleading the nation over NRC as Amit Shah had claimed in Parliament that NRC would be implemented in the whole country. The Ministry of Home Affairs has decided to withdraw 72 companies of Central Armed Police Forces from Jammu and Kashmir with immediate effect. The decision was made public Tuesday night. The troops are being withdrawn as they were in deployment in the border state on a temporary basis after anticipating security concerns post the abrogation of Article 370 on August 5. At least 28 UP residents have been sent notices by the state administration for causing damage to public property during the large-scale violence that was witnessed during the anti-CAA and NRC protests. The residents were also asked why recoveries should not be made for damages to public property worth Rs 14 lakhs. A fact-finding report on the violence and police action at the Aligarh Muslim University last week has alleged that police used undue force against AMU students. The report, based on anonymous testimonies of students, teachers and others present on campus, claims police used stun grenades and raised Jai Shri Ram slogans. The police deny the claims and accuse the students for initiating the violence. President Ramnath Kovind and Prime Minister Modi, along with senior BJP leaders, paid tribute to former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee on his 95th birth anniversary at Atal Samadhi Sthal today. Prime Minister Modi will later be in Lucknow to unveil the statue of Vajpayee outside the Lok Bhavan. Meanwhile, the Union Cabinet, chaired by the Prime Minister yesterday, approved the renaming of the strategic tunnel under Rohtang Pass after the former Prime Minister. U.S. President Donald Trump said that the U.S. would deal successfully with any Christmas gift from North Korea. This after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un warned of a Christmas gift as the deadline to end what Pyongyang calls is U.S.'s policy of hostility towards it ends. There is also a stalemate in U.S.-North Korean efforts to dismantle the latter's nuclear program and establish lasting peace. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.